capability. Senator Lindsey Graham is one of the senators behind that resolution. He joins us live. Always a pleasure to talk to you, Senator. The president, I must say, has said on more than one occasion that he will never accept a nuclear-armed Iran. So why is your resolution necessary unless, unless you don't believe the president? Is that the case? I think it's necessary to show the president and the country and the world that we all agree with that statement. I think these are dangerous times in which we live. You need to be on the record about the monumental events of your time, and I can't think of anything more appropriate to be talking about U.S. policy toward Iran. So when the president says a nuclear-armed Iran is unacceptable, the Congress needs to speak, and I want to have the president's back on this. I want the Iranians in the world to know it's just not the president saying that, but the United States Senate also. All right. Just to be clear, do you think the president <clears throat> believes that a nuclear-armed Iran is inevitable and his backup plan maybe secretly is uh, how to deal with a nuclear-armed Iran? Uh, I don't think so. I hope he doesn't believe that. I don't believe he does because it's an impossible task to manage. Once they get a nuclear weapon, nuclear weapons will spread throughout the region. The Sunni Arab states are not going to give the Persian Shias a nuclear uh, trump card over them, and terrorists having access to nuclear weapons grows exponentially. Israel's not going to let that happen. So, no, I don't think he believes he can do that. I certainly don't think he can contain a nuclear-armed Iran once they get a weapon. Well, you used the word contain. Containment and deterrence did work with the Soviets during the Cold War. Why wouldn't it work now with Iran? Well, the Soviets uh, <clears throat> were rational actors, and the Soviet Union uh, did not lead to a nuclear arms uh, race in the Mideast. Uh, the nightmare of a nuclear-armed Iran is it would create a nuclear proliferation throughout the Mideast. Now, I can't think of a worse scenario for the 21st century than a bunch of nuclear weapons in the Mideast. So when the Soviet Union developed nuclear capability, the rest of the, the Mideast did not follow. If Iran develops a nuclear weapon, the Mideast will follow, and that is an Armageddon scenario that we need not go down. Now, look, you're trying to get some Democrats. You've gotten a few, mm -hmm. but others yeah. are very reluctant. Be and here's why. I mean, they say they are concerned that this resolution will be seen as creeping toward authorizing military force. Is it? No, I think what it is is a firm statement of U.S. policy backing up the president. And any rational person who's looked at the consequences of a nuclear-armed Iran come out where we're at. So it's a resolution, timely in its nature, that speaks uh, from the Senate's point of view, backing up the president. And I think we'll get a lot of bipartisan support. And if you actually had to vote on this, I doubt if many people... Would, would, would reject this resolution. I'd hate to have to go home to South Carolina and explain to the people of South Carolina that we could deal with a nuclear-armed Iran, because I don't think we can, and I don't believe they do. Well, our Defense Secretary Leon Panetta said that yeah. Israel, he predicted that Israel will launch a strike against Iran in the next several months. Do you agree with that? Well, I was at the hearing yesterday, and he said he did not say that. He has no direct knowledge of that. But put yourself in the position of the Israelis. How long would you play this game, allowing the Iranians to basically bake the nuclear weapons cake? And that's what they're trying to do. All the parts are coming together. And I asked Leon Panetta yesterday, from a national security point of view, do you think it's a sound policy to allow them to get a nuclear weapon and try to contain them? And he said, no, you must stop them. So it's just not President Obama. It's now the Secretary of Defense and hopefully most of the United States Senate. So. Uh, We'll see where this goes, but right. I, I think it's a, a time to have this vote while it still matters. And I hope we can avoid a nuclear-armed Iran. If we don't, we'll all regret it. All right, we'll be following the vote. Senator Lindsey Graham, Thanks. thank you so much, sir. Thank you.